Hello friends, today we are going to analyze the given portal frame which is a determinate frame using the three equilibrium conditions sigma h0, sigma v0 and sigma moment at any location equal to 0. And we have to draw a necessary diagram which is axial thrust diagram, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So, for the calculation of all these values, first we have to calculate the support reaction. Now, observing the point A, there is a roller support which creates the vertical reaction and the value is as a RA. Due to the hinge support at D, vertical support reaction RD and the horizontal support reaction is as a HD. Now, using three equilibrium condition, first one is sigma h equal to 0. Now, 10 into 5 in the positive direction and HD in the negative direction. So, 10 into 5 minus HD must be equal to 0. And through this, we have HD as a 50 kilo Newton. Now, if we take the moment at location A and treating clockwise moment as a positive, then Due to the UDL, it creates the clockwise moment and the value is total load as a 10 into 5 and CG distance from the location A as a 5 by 2. Now, 50 kN load is also creating the clockwise moment and the value is plus 50 into perpendicular distance from location A is 6 meter. And RD creates anticlockwise moment. So, it is negative and perpendicular distance of RD from location A is 6 meter plus 5 meter as a 11 meter. Now, solving this value, we will have Rd as a 38.64 kilo Newton. And third equilibrium equation is sigma v equal to 0, which is Ra in the upward plus Rd in the upward direction and 50 kilo Newton is downward direction. So, minus 50 equal to 0. And putting the value of Rd as a 38.64, we will have Ra which is equal to 11.36 kN. So, first step is to find out the support reaction using three equilibrium condition. Now, the next step for the analysis is we have to split this element as a AB column, B2C beam and C2D column which is as shown with the loading on the member as well as the support reaction. Now, we have to analyze all the member using sigma h, sigma v and sigma m at different different location. Now, first of all, observing the vertical reaction or vertical load at location A, we will have 11.36 kilo Newton due to the roller support. And for neutralization of A to B, we will have to provide a opposite of 11.36 kN load at location B. But in actual frame, there isn't any point load on location B. And so we have to apply a vertical upward load of same quantity, 11.36 kN. Now for neutralization of B2C member, vertical 11.36 kN load, downward 50 kN load, as the total downward load is 38.64. So, we have to apply upward load of 38.64 kN at location C so that this system is of in equilibrium. Now, at location C in actual beam, there isn't any point load, and the opposite load is applied at location C as a 38.64 kN. And due to the support reaction, the system is in equilibrium. Now, taking the horizontal load. From left to right, first, if we observe a A to B member, then at location A, there isn't any horizontal load. Due to the UDL, 10 into 5 in the right hand direction load is there. So, for the neutralization of this system, we have to apply 10 into 5 as a 50 kN horizontal load at point B. Similarly to vertical load, there isn't any point load at location B in the actual frame and for the neutralization of this horizontal 50 kN load, we have to apply opposite of 50 kN load at location B in B2C member. 
again at location C there isn't horizontal load so we have to apply the horizontal opposite load of 50 kN at location C in the BC member now at location C there isn't any point load on the actual frame hence we have to apply opposite of 50 kN and due to the support reaction this system is in equilibrium as sigma h equal to 0 so first step is to find out reaction second step is to neutralize the system by sigma h and sigma v now using this value if we draw a axial thrust diagram and shear force diagram then in a to b member 11.36 kN compressive load is there now b to c member 50 kN compressive load is there and from c to d 38.64 kN compressive load is there it means that all the axial value is of in compression it means we have to draw a diagram in the negative direction now in a b our value is 11.36 and we have to draw a negative 11.36 for a to b for b to c span the value of 50 kN as compressive load hence again for b to c we have to plot a negative 50 kN load as a axial thrust diagram for b to c similarly for location c to d 38.64 kN compressive load is there so we have to plot a negative diagram for c to d having the value 38.64 kilonewton but in the negative direction figure indicates the axial thrust diagram now we have to draw a shear force diagram according to the calculation now for the shear force diagram if we observe a point a there isn't any shear force at location a now from a to b 10 into 5 in the downward direction code is there so 50 kN in the downward direction so from location A to the B we have to plot a 50 kN downward directional shear force and it is of incline line due to the UDL and the value is 50 kN but in the negative direction and at location B due to the 50 kN horizontal load a shear force value is 0 now observing B to C beam at location B 11.36 kN load is there Now from location B to the E there isn't any point load it means we have to plot a horizontal straight line at location E 50 kN load is there in the downward direction so 11.36 minus 50 as a minus 38.64 kN now from E to C there isn't any point load so our diagram is horizontal straight line and at location C upward 38.64 kN so our value is 0 now from C to D there is a 50 kN load in the upward direction so we have to plot a 50 kN in upward direction now from C to D there isn't any point load so our diagram is horizontal straight line and at location D 50 kN downward load is there so the value is 0 at location D and the diagram value is 50 kN but in the positive direction shear force diagram of given frame now we have to calculate the bending moment at different location using the all value as now for the bending moment if we take a bending moment at location b then due to the udl anti-clockwise moment is generated so our value is minus 10 into 5 into 5 by 2 as a cg distance from location b and the total value is minus 125 kilonewton meter so total moment generated at location b is anti-clockwise 125 but we have to equalize this moment so we have to plot it as a clockwise and the value is 125 kilonewton meter but at location b there isn't any external moment is given and the opposite moment of 125 is applied at location B in the direction of C. Now if we take the moment at location C in the BC member 
then anti clockwise 125 kilo newton meter so it is minus 125 11.36 into total perpendicular distance 11 in the clockwise direction and 50 kilo newton into 5 perpendicular distance in anti clockwise direction so it is minus 50 into 5 and the total value of the moment at location c which is minus 250 kilo newton meter so generated moment is anti clockwise we have to plot it in clockwise direction and the value is 250 kilo newton meter and at location c there isn't any external moment in the given frame and so we have to apply opposite of this moment and the opposite moment is of anti clockwise moment and the value is 250 kilo newton meter now a b and c d is of same span as a 5 meter and if we take the moment at location d then anti clockwise moment of 250 it means it is minus and 50 kilo newton into 5 in the clockwise direction so it is plus 50 into 5 and the total value is 0 at location d and due to the support the total moment is 0 hence our calculation is ok now at the point E if we take the moment in the left hand direction so moment in E but in the direction of B which is minus 25 and due to 11.36 clockwise moment is generated so plus 11.36 into 6 meter and the total value is minus 56.84 the value is anti clockwise we have to apply it as a clockwise now using this value we have to plot the bending moment diagram and as per the calculation we have 125 kilo newton meter clockwise at d direction of b to a and according to our direction of the moment we have to plot it in the upward direction and due to the UDL between A to B we have to plot it as a tau from 125 kilo newton meter to 0 at location A now for P to C span at location B our value is 125 in the upward direction as a anti-clockwise moment now at location E according to the moment we have to draw a upward diagram of 56.84 and at location C clockwise moment is there which creates the upward motion of the point C and the value is 250 now we have to connect these three point and due to the no point load between B to E we have to connect it by the straight line and again from E to C there isn't any point load hence we have to connect it as a straight line now at location C to D we have an anticlockwise moment of 250 kilo newton meter is there in the vertical direction and at location D our value is 0 and we have to connect this both the point and in the C to D span there isn't any point load so we have to connect it by the inclined straight line this diagram indicates the bending moment diagram of the given frame but in upward direction our value is negative thank you